In this vlog, we are going to continue the previous tutorial where we were not able to find the events in the dashboard and we have downloaded the raw data and try to find the events and in this part of the tutorial, let's try to see the events on the dashboard itself. So here under the analyze here, we have an option called events and in this particular events now you are able to see clearly which was not available in our previous tutorial. So here we have got the home screen displayed here and organic E8 it is showing the count. And the same here you can find group by event, group by campaign and export CSV. So we have covered this in our previous tutorial and this is the link for the our previous tutorial. If you have not gone through that particular tutorial, I am providing the link here. You may have a look. And also there I have clearly explained you how to create a raw data file and try to download it and view the file. In this vlog, I would like to give you a basic overview of the features here. And one more thing is I'm not going to practically implement all these features. I'm just trying to give you an overview. And if you are really looking forward for a practical implementation, just let me know in the comment section below. So here the first tab is the overview which you are well aware and this is the scan overview now. So mostly if you are an iOS application developer, you might be very much familiar with this particular scan overview and scan stands for SK ad network and it was uh, from I think 2018 this was been introduced by Apple and it allows advertisers to measure the installs. For example, you might be very much uh, familiar with the privacy. That was the most important aspect of uh, iOS application development. And this particular scan send the anonymized callbacks to the ad networks by uh, providing the details regarding the installs and uh, like uh, campaign ID. They might be creating some campaign IDs for a particular ads right so those campaign ids and also the conversation value like this some a very limited information is being provided back to the ad networks and again here the user data is being protected so no user data is being passed back to the ad networks so this is a basic overview of a scan and if you wanted to have much detailed information just let me know in the comment section below and the next thing is like cohort and retention. So cohort and retention is nothing but grouping up of users and trying to find how they interact with your application and what sort of interaction. For example, like so today 10 users visited your application and out of which five user made an exit immediately. So here application in the sense it might be a website as well. What made the user drop very quickly? All these kinds of uh, analysis you can perform with the help of this particular cohort and retention over here. And also we can add some additional points on cohort and retention like this will give you a clear overview of how users are accepting your application or website. So it, it clearly says the user's interest regarding your application or website. So you can try to improve your performance you can try to improve your app performance by going through this particular cohort and retention values over here and the next thing is activity so again this is the basic thing activity where you can find the count of the events and conversations and uh, all these things like in detail and high level over here so the next tab is again the retention tab so just now we have discussed the retention it again uh, dives you back to the cohort and retention itself. So retention in simple way to say is like how many users are coming back to your application again. So initially out of 100 people, 20 people returned back again to your application. Then you can find out what made them come back and you can try to improve your application so that the remaining 80 people 
and you can target most of them to return back like that okay and here the next option is like custom dashboard so you can create some custom dashboard and for example let us try to create a custom dashboard for this particular tutorial so i am just making like flutter and i'm trying to create custom dashboard so i'm trying to create a custom dashboard here and you can add your own widgets here like graphs and uh, you can provide the information and those particular things would be displayed and again it's again a basic aspect dashboard you might be very much familiar and based upon your requirement like marketing team can try creating these custom dashboards to access the information in a much easy way and also a better way they can in a single view they can uh, gather all the informations okay and the next comes is pivot so this is a premium feature again so this particular pivot will give you the analysis of uh, information gathering from various ad networks or countries here so find out which campaigns are bringing high value and you can analysis the cost and revenue to re return on ads so it basically is, uh, allows you to analysis the data by customizing the reports as required by you and the next thing is events which we have already seen here and people based attribution so this is one of the important aspect again i would like to explain you this in a very simple way for example you yourself have a, a laptop and you have an android device and an ios device as well so you try to visit a website from all the three devices and the user of the website or the ad network need to identify you as a single user right so you you should not be considered like a three users you should be considered like a single user so here this particular people based attribution so here it's not a device based thing you are considered like a single user based on their parameters they might be having some parameters trying to gather your android ios and your laptop into a single unit and it is considered like a people based attribution okay i hope uh, this would be very much clear for you and if you are still having any queries just uh, let me know in the comment section below and here we have already seen the raw data export and the remaining things like collaborate engage this will be optimized these things will be covering in the coming tutorials and here we have got uh, export and these particular things here raw data export so we have seen clearly with an example in our previous tutorial and aggregate aggregated data export so this is also relatively same to the raw data export but here we can have some date range and all those things specified clearly and not only date range you can have these particular uh, parameters you can target these particular things and uh, get the aggregated data and next one is the data locker so before getting to the data locker i would like to quickly show you the api access things here and this particular api access is provided for the paid users so this particular account what we are seeing is a free account and a free account can't create an api and if you are using a paid account you can create an api and go through this particular documentation and try to fetch the raw data export and aggregated data report here and you might question me like we are able to get them manually from here in this particular tabs right then why again we need an api most of you might be very much familiar like why we require an api in this particular thing when you are having an api it will be very much easier for you to fetch the reports using an api it would be very much flexible and easy way to fetch the reports so here this data locker by the name itself uh, it states that you can store your reports over here and try to pass them to this particular cloud providers and the next thing is cost etl and this is again a very interesting aspect here roi is a uh, return of investment and roas is return on ad spend 
so in simple way to tell is like how much money you spent on ads and how much money you earned back so people seeing your ads try to come back and purchase the product which you are manufacturing right so that is what the thing i like to explain so this particular dashboard will try to provide the estimates here in a clear cut way you might have invested in multiple ad networks so it is very difficult for you to go through each ad network and calculate your roi and roas over there so here this will provide you all together in this particular dashboard so i hope this is clear again and i would like to just highlight the options available in the apps flyer so that you may find any of them interesting and start using in your applications so i hope this tutorial is very clear for you if not just let me know in the comment section below and if you like this tutorial do like share and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content on flutter